All right. Hello, Anna. My name is Oscar Perez. I teach at the uh, Cali School of Music at Montclair State University. I listen to your uh, listen and watch your video submission for the new um, what is it? The um, National Jazz Fest. Um, thank you for uploading those videos. It was very enjoyable to watch. Uh, I can tell you like playing. First of all, because you played with a group. So that second video of Take the Atrium, that was great because you were playing in a live setting, which most people um, shy away from doing. And you were in there doing your thing with your keyboard. Fantastic. Really good. Um, in fact, let me continue on that. Um, so when you're playing your lines, one, one of the things that I put into the uh, comment section is that you want to... There's a couple ways to do this, but my my way of doing it is this, in terms of learning how to solo, you have basically two things you want to do simultaneously. You want to learn your harmony, you want to learn what scales go with what chords, um, and then on the other side, you want to, that's very, you know, very general. On the other side, you want to transcribe. You want to find out what cats like Wynton Kelly, Tommy Flanagan, Hank Jones, Sir Roland Hanna, so on and so forth. What do they play? What was some what was some of the amazing what we call language that they played um, lines they played uh, gestures piano tricks that kind of stuff how did they speak through their instrument um, and you what you want to do is you want to transcribe meaning you want to write down or play it by ear um, however you do it at these early stages is fine uh, but the idea is that you figure out what's on those records what's on those eight bars like say take the first 12 bars of one chorus of Wynton Kelly playing on Freddie the Freeloader. And then you sing it um, accu as accurately as you can, and then practice playing it with the record. And you want to imitate everything you can, not just the, the, the lines, the, you know, the musical lines and the rhythms, figuring out the fingerings, but you also want to deal with, well, how did they articulate it? What were the accents? How are they swinging? You know what I mean? Uh, and you basically try to imitate it. So when you're playing with it, it's almost like your line, like your performance of what they played kind of like gets hidden in what they're playing. And then you know you're doing the right thing. You're playing with the right feel, the right articulations, the right dynamics, you know. Um, it's like learning how to speak the English language when you were a kid. You didn't do it as eloquently as your parents, but eventually you were able to do that. Um, but at first it was just learning some words and learning you know, the difference between asking for something, uh, you know, in a gentle voice or in a loud voice or screaming. The words don't change, but the intent does based on how you deliver those words. Same thing in jazz. Okay. Um, you want to try to memorize everything that you tackle. If you learn a new song like Autumn Leaves, your best bet is to memorize it and to really get into the, 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 the harmonic structure of the song the framework of the song, what's the form, so you can feel comfortable soloing in it. Um, yes, your chords, some of your chords are a little bit low. You want to try to play four note voicings in your left hand that clearly outline the chord, but that also aren't too low and muddy. Um, they don't interfere with your right hand. And there's a lot to do, but what I like about it is that I'm telling you these things, but I know you're going to take it and be like, yeah, what's he talking about? Let me explore further. Because I can tell you love playing and you love the music. Um, you love sounding you know, as good as you can. So nice presentations of songs. I really enjoyed it. You played two classics. So keep building on that repertoire. Um, yeah. And you have a nice sense of tempo, although you are listening to, you know, other people keeping the tempo with you. So try playing with a metronome and then playing by yourself um, and try to keep that tempo thing happening. You know, um, listen, transcribe, learn your harmony, play with others, um, and also check out live music. It's really inspiring to hear the masters do it and doing it well. You get a bug for wanting to do it. So keep at it. Um, like I wrote, it's a wonderful journey and you get out of it as much as you put into it. Um, I hope to hear you soon. And um, yeah, great job. Talk to you later. Bye, Anna.